Kombucha Dog makes the highest quality kombucha. Every label features a rescue dog you can adopt. Hello everybody, this is uh, Roland DeShane from Press Track Consulting. I'm here with Bill Blowers from TapRack. And uh, today we're gonna do a primary and secondary uh, dot com video. And we're gonna be talking about uh, visible lasers. Uh, the, the new B.E. Myers Mall is equipped with a green visible laser. Uh, visible lasers get a bad rap because uh, when all things are equal, they're just slower than, uh, than using a, a red dot reflex optic. Uh, but there are times when a visible laser is going to give you an advantage and when you're shooting with a protective mask, that is one of those, uh, those possible times. Uh, I have seen level one teams that have actually used C-burn funding to fund their IR laser program because the IR laser program came with the visible laser. So they were getting an aiming uh, device for, uh, to be able to uh, accomplish their, their level one missions to include HR in, in a C-burn environment. Uh, and, and they just got the bonus of getting an IR illuminator and pointer out of the deal. You gotta be able to do everything that you can do without a mask with a mask on. And you start talking about barricade jobs and things of that nature, you're introducing uh, agents into the structure. You could have reduced visibility smoke uh, and, and things like that. So the possibility of you having to go in uh, and clear the structure masked up is, is very high, frankly. So uh, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna shoot two drills and we're gonna show the difference in speed that is inverse to shooting without a mask. If you, if Bill was to shoot this drill with just a reflex sight without his mask on, uh, chances are very high that he's gonna run that drill faster and more accurately than he is with uh, a projected laser beam on the target. Uh, there is gonna be some latency, some lag there where you've got to slow that gun down and let that laser settle on the target. So we're gonna shoot a one to five with a mask on to show that mounting the rifle and getting that proper sight picture through the reflex optic is, uh, is actually gonna slow you down and possibly could slow you down to the point where a visible laser now becomes faster to engage with than uh, using reflex sight when, uh, when using a protective mask. So Bill has a uh, mega franking gun here and we're trying to give red dot the benefit of the doubt for this drill. We're going with a LaRue Tallboy mount with the one third co-witness. We're using a battle comp uh, on that gun. Uh, so, so that gun is, is set up and, and ready to run and run fast. And then uh, on the other side with our uh, archer rifle, Bill is gonna use the visible green laser of the mall uh, to repeat the one to five drill. So we will shoot uh, reflex sight first, uh, followed by uh, green laser. Shooter ready. ready. Shooter indicates ready. Stand by. Five point three five. Two out on the first. Two out on the left target. Shooter ready. ready. Stand by. Four point three seven. Four point three seven. Four three seven clean. So what we've seen here is uh, an entire second faster on this run. I should have kept. Uh, I should have taken a look at the splits on the first one and uh, and showed you guys what his first shot was. That's where you're gonna you're gonna
Seattle Police SWAT and King County, Washington, Sheriff's Office SWAT adopt the B. Myers and Company, Incorporated Mall Trademark Laser Aiming System B. Myers and Company, Incorporated Advanced Photonics, which specializes in laser systems for national defense, law enforcement, and aerospace is proud to announce that their modular advanced weapon laser mall trademark has been adopted as the new standard by both the Seattle Police Department Special Weapons and Tactics Team SWAT, as well as the King County Washington Sheriff's Office Special Operations Team. These two teams provide tactical response services for over 2 million citizens in the greater Seattle area. Both SBD SWAT and XO SWAT explored multiple laser aiming systems before choosing the mall trademark for their weapon pointing and illumination requirements in June 2016. The mall trademark enables their SWAT officers to safely and effectively conduct high-risk tasks in complex low-light environments. Officer Kirk Waldorf Seattle Police SWAT Team R&D lead said, When my team decided to improve our night vision capabilities, we evaluated four of the best aiming devices available. The mall trademark was without equal, and no other device offered the capabilities and functions of the B. Myers & Company, Incorporated system. In the end, we decided not to compromise on quality or performance and chose the mall trademark for the entire team. Deputy Tony Mullinax, XO Special Operations said, The mall trademark has dramatically increased our ability to safely operate at night, allowing us to make better decisions about if and when to use force. As the first U.S. law enforcement departments to adopt the mall trademark using the FDA law enforcement variants for this system, the teams were trained on the advantages of the mall trademark system by press check consulting and TAPRAC Tactical both of which provide specialized training in operating under night vision in tactical situations. Matt Myers, president of B. Myers & Company, Incorporated, said, We're excited that the first teams to adopt the mall trademark are local law enforcement organizations that B. Myers & Company, Incorporated, has had relationships with since our founding in 1974. Both Seattle PD and King County Sheriff's Office SWAT are highly regarded professionals who display proficiency in tactical operations, and we are honored that they chose us to meet their equipment needs. For more information on the mall trademark and other B. Myers & Company, Incorporated products, please visit the company's website at www.bemyers.com and the mall trademark website at www.bemeyers-mall.us, or contact sales at bemeyers.com.